pound prep, we'll go forward. And the simplest move is to cross and out. So you put one hand over the other hand if you're going to give yourself a big hug. And then we'll cross and then once you're relaxed, you do one revolution each time. One, two. move you can do is cross out, up and down. So you're going to go up and down with your elbows. And then you're going to cross your arms. So you're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is what it looks like. So you switch which arm is on top. How do you learn how to do this? I'm right-handed. So the first move you're going to do is do one circle on top of your left hand, one circle underneath, and one circle out to the other side of your body. One, two, three. One, two, three. Practice switching the arm that's on top because we'll use this later. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You do the same thing with your left hand. One, two, three. The next move is called the spin, which looks like this. If you're in a room with like a short ceiling like this one, you can take your poi balls and turn them over so they're shorter like this. And then you can do the same thing. And how you learn to do the spin, um, if you're right-handed, you're gonna take your arms to the right. You're gonna go behind your head like you're gonna brush your hair. And then you're gonna come back in front of you. So you're gonna go one, two, three. And then try and do it as a continuous motion with your hands about an inch apart, or a little bit bigger than that, and then try and get them at the same tempo, and then one hand just follows the other. This move is called the one-hander. You're gonna take your poi balls at your sides, and then you're going to bring them together. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to put my right hand on top. If you're left-handed, you put your left hand on top. Then you're going to get your pinky out, bring your hands close together, and you're going to steal the poi ball from your non-dominant hand, and then you're just going to move your wrist. You don't want to move your whole arm like this. Just move your wrist, and that gives you more control. I'll do this facing the camera too. So you're going to take your hands. Your dominant hand's going to go on top. Get your pinky out of your dominant hand. Bring them close together. Try that one more time. <laughs> Bring them close together. Get your pinky out. And then you're just going to move your wrist. The next move is called the push, so you're going to bring your hands together like you did for the one-hander, and then you're going to switch which arm's on top. You'll have one arm extended and one arm with your elbow bent, and then you'll switch which one is on top. You're going to stack your hands. And how you can practice this is just with one poi ball. You can put it on top. And then you're going to switch your hand. Pretend like the poi ball you're holding is a propeller and you don't want it to hit you in the arm like this. So you're going to move your other hand in and on top, in and on top. You do the same thing with your left hand. And what it looks
just like together again. This is the push. Okay, the next move is called the monkey. And you're going to make a figure eight around your hips. And what you can do again is just learn one hand at a time. You're going to make a circle next to your, your hip with your um, foie ball going to the right. And then you're going to make another circle with your hand behind your butt. And you're going to make a figure eight. Figure eight. So by your hip, and we're going to go front and back, front and back, front and back. You want to make sure when you go behind that your thumb is towards your butt. You don't want to go out like this because when we learn the next move, the funky monkey, you need your arm to go under. So always go under, front and back, front and back, front and back. Same thing on the left side, front and back, front and back. That's what it looks like to the front. It's a four count, so you're going to do a figure eight in front of your body and a figure eight behind. You're going to turn to the side. So again, you start out by your hip. You're going to do one, two, three, and four. See how my hand is turned in, not out like this? So you're going to do one, two, three, four. 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 hand does the same thing. One, two, three, four. And then when you touch them together, you just alternate. So one hand will be in first position, the other one will be in the fourth position. And then one hand just follows the other. same time. So you'll go one, two, three, four. 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 Okay, so the next move is called the cowgirl. One hand is going to be doing the monkey, and the other hand is going to be doing the spin. Again, you can make your foie ball smaller if you need to. So you're going around your head and around your hip, and then you can also do it the reverse. So you just switch which hand is on top. So we'll call this one the cowgirl. And then you can switch. And switch back. And the last move I'm going to sh show you is how to do two foie balls at the two sets of foie balls at the same time. How you start it is sorry, in your pinky, and this one's going to go over your index finger. And what you're going to do is you're going to take it, your hand, and flip them over. When your foie balls are parallel like this, then you'll start pumping your wrist. So you'll get your one hand going regular and then you can pull this out of your belt or your sarong. So you're going to go over and then pump. Make sure you, again, you just do just your wrist. You're going to flick it over with your finger and then pump, 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 pump. You'll get your one hand started and then you want to get this hand kind of over. 
over to the side, a little out of the way. You can fold this out. One tassel in your pinky, the other one on your index finger. And we'll flip it over. And this is a two-hander. And then you can alternate your arms so you can go in and out. I'll show you this from the back as well. And you bring them together, put your pinky out, and grab this one. And you can put it over to the side. Grab with your pinky and your index finger. And we'll get them going. And move just your wrist. can alternate. And that's your Puebla lift.